Yes, welcome back to my channel. God bless you. This is your sister Adadi Blog TV. I welcome you in the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. Today's topic we are going to talk about God gives true rest. How, how do God give this true rest? The opposite of rest is stress. God, Jesus said, Carry my yoke and my body, you find rest. John chapter 5. Also see it in John chapter 9. What is all about this yoke? Yoke is a drive, tools, and implement that you use. Is is for stressing you? Use is for stressing you. In case of in case of David, in case of David and Goliath, David used wisdom of God in order to defeat Goliath. To use by using just a stone to kill Goliath. Yoke. Yoke, yoke, use specific tools to make the yoke to fit. Jesus said, my yoke fits you. He said, come to me, I have a yoke that fits you. Your yoke is custom fit for you. Your yoke is yours, not for another. Matthew chapter 25, what will take you to heaven? When I was hungry, thirsty and naked, and you did not take care of me. Yoke. This is the yoke you have to carry in order to enter into the kingdom of God. When was the last time you helped the poor and the needy and clothed people that need shelters? Please, my dear brothers and sisters, check the yoke you are carrying if you are doing or carrying it very well. Stress out not by going to churches and preaching the word of God, or singing all the days, meaning that you are carrying your yoke well. If you did not find rest in God's work, check yourself. Check yourself. Is it not? Is it God that you are serving? That is a question. Yoke again. When Jesus take about talk about yoke, it means Holy Spirit. In case if you don't know, my dear brethren, at chapter one verse eight, when the Spirit of God come upon you, then then you receive rest. When the Spirit of God come upon you, then you receive rest. This is the word of God, not a word of Adadichi. By the special grace of our Lord Jesus, I believe that you are understanding the meaning of this. God gives true rest. And we talk about yoke. And we talk about the opposite of rest is stress. So if you are setting yourself much, in God's word, that means you check yourself whether it's God you are really serving or you are really deceiving yourself if you are not finding rest. Yes, example, charity. If you are living in a fresh, it is very difficult to you to do charity work. That, that is why you have to live in spirit of God. Romans chapter 8 verse 26. The spirit is to help us, okay? If you are not in spirit, even if you are not in spirit, even your prayers and fasting become stress because you are living in the flesh. Yes, oh yes, that is true. Check yourself very well because some people will be praying and fasting all day. Say God is not answering prayer, but you are lying. God answers prayers. Depend if you are in spirit or you are in fresh. If you are in fresh, you are just making a noise because nothing is going to happen. So check yourself very well, whether you are in spirit or you are just making a noise. So that is all about today's topic. Then we talk about still on the yoke. The yoke of prayer is faith and trust in God. Did you hear that? The yoke of prayer is faith and trust in God. When you are praying, and some people will be praying, you are asking for something and you are doubting. Whether is it going to work? So how can it work when you don't have faith and you don't trust in that God you are serving? I don't know about the God you are serving. I'm talking about the living God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Almighty Father in heaven. So what, the kind of, what kind of God are you serving? Are you serving the God that you are doubting that you will not have, will not help you to have rest, will not allow you to have peace in your life? Check yourself very well. Philippians chapter 4. Two things you may, you two things you need to know. Number one, take his yoke. God said, Jesus said, take his yoke. 
ask yourself a question if you are carrying his if you are carrying the, the, the yoke you are carrying is it the yoke of God or the yoke or your yoke of your ancestors? This is another question. So he said, the yoke you are carrying is it the yoke of God Almighty or the yoke of your ancestors? Have you asked yourself this question? Very, very important. Take his yoke and you will have rest. Okay? And have faith. Follow his way. Second, be in spirit. Don't be in flesh. If you are in spirit, you know what I'm talking about. You know the, the type of, the kind of yoke I'm talking about. So he said the yoke he have for us is a fit one. You fit us. You will not give us the yoke that cannot fit us. That can we, we cannot carry and we cannot rest upon it. So the yoke the Jesus Christ give us is a yoke of Fit that yoke fit us. Be in spirit. To be in spirit, it will help you. You will have rest in Christ Jesus. So a lot of us may say, we well, don't have rest. If you are serving God and you don't have rest, you check yourself very well. God bless you for listening. Thank you so much. I so much appreciate you guys for coming. God bless you. Please share this video. If you know that you get something on this topic today, just drop your comment below in comment section. Don't forget... So subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you. And also follow me in Facebook page. Ada DJ. I love you all. Bye. Good night. Good day. I greet you according to your time. Bye-bye. Ciao, everyone. Bye.